right, let's begin here with an empty scene in 3ds max uh, we'll start with the extended primitives the hedra primitive and we'll change the family to dodecaicos and just draw it in the center of the screen arbitrarily here um, for demonstration purposes i will not be uh, modeling to specific units however uh, you can if you want to um, I'm just going to drop a standard material on the object and change wire colors real quickly to black so we can better view it in the uh, viewport here. Once that's done, I'm going to change it to an editable poly just by means of the command panel. And then immediately I will drop a mesh smooth modifier on top of the object. Underneath the uh, local control rollout, I will disable the isoline display option and change the subdivision method uh, to classic, which is basically the do sabbing algorithm. Under the smoothing parameters, we'll change the strength to 0, 0.0 and increase the relax to 1.0. And at this point, uh, we have this surface and we could go ahead and collapse the mesh smooth modifier down. Say yes. And that gives us this topology here to work with. Immediately go to polygon level and select one of the pentagons. And then uh, in the graphite ribbon, select similar to grab them all. And with all those faces selected, uh, hold down shift on the keyboard while changing your selection method to edges here in the command panel all right and then click on the connect tool to connect those edges all right and it'll give us this Control a to select all and once again we'll connect all of those edges Control i to invert the selection and then hold down control while you hit backspace on the keyboard to remove those edges along with the vertices. And that gives us this uh, unique topology here. Okay, now let's begin defining the pattern that we want for our uh, shape. So looking at it at an angle, I could see the outline of the um, uh, star-like pattern that I want here. Um, so I'm just going to begin selecting all of those edges and uh, defining this pattern a little bit more clearly here. Okay. Um, just, you know, be mindful of the edges you are selecting. Don't grab any uh, auxiliary edges in the process. And just keep going around the shape here and you'll see the uh, outline of the pattern that I'm going to choose here start to sh start to uh, become visible all right so very quickly I just went around the object and selected this uh, almost floral five point star like pattern all right of edges and then uh, with that selected I will go ahead and click the select similar again to grab all of them all around the object here okay so that's done a clean job of selecting all of these uh, similar edges now with those selected I will hold down shift while I bring up the chamfer caddy and uh, in 2017 3ds max we'll have the option of the quad chamfer and that's uh, what I prefer to use for this. So I quad chamfer and then uh, we'll make an open selection and then invert that open selection. And that'll leave us with uh, this particular surface here of just the shapes that uh, we've defined through the edges that we've created algorithmically. All right. Now, with this selected here, we'll just add a Spherify modifier on top to uh, round everything out a little bit more. And this is part of why I chose the, uh, the quad chamfer to get some more edges for this spherical uh, process. All right. 
You can collapse that down and add a shell modifier next. The inner and outer amount should be the same to make an even thickness. Okay, so I'm just using 1.0. It's arbitrary here, but uh, and then make sure your uh, select edges option is selected as well in the shell modifier. And we'll add an edit poly on top of that and go immediately to the face level. And those edges will still be selected and uh, we'll do a, a very minute inset to prepare for subdivision. Okay, so I'll zoom in here and uh, holding down the Alt button to get better control over the inset as I move the spinner. I just gave it uh, 0 0.26. Again, this is all arbitrary, so if you're modeling to scale, uh, these numbers will be more significant in your, in your process. Okay. So I have my inset, and at this point, um, I can go ahead and add an open subdiv modifier um, to smooth everything out. And uh, I'll increase the, whoops, I'll increase the iterations here to two um, uh, to, to get a nice smooth result. However, uh, if you're going to export this later uh, as an STL, or an OBJ um, for 3D printing, then I recommend that you increase those iterations to possibly even three, okay? And right here, I'm just adding, uh, or changing the uh, specular level so we can see the smoothness a little bit better on the model here as I rotate around, all right? Everything seems to be uh, in order. And that's another benefit of using the quad chamfer in 3ds max 2017 or i think it came out in 2015 with a service release and and was there since then uh, in 2016 so um, but uh, i removed the isoline display and you could see how many edges we're dealing with here uh, and how many polygons um, remember however that if you do export this as an stl you need to collapse the open subdiv modifier with isoline display deselected. Make sure it's not selected when you go to collapse the open subdiv or uh, you'll end up with some stray vertices. All right, I'm just going to go back down here in the uh, edit poly and with those um, faces still selected, I'm going to use the extrude uh, tool to just um, extrude a little bit of a bevel out here on the uh, on that inner rim uh, just to give it a little bit of a uh, I don't know just to give it a little bit of a finishing look here like a beveled look around those uh, edges as you can see okay so that is about it. Um, you could do a lot of different things with this. Uh, you could turn it into a pendant, uh, all kinds of stuff. All right. So uh, possibilities are endless. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. It was a short and quick one. Um, however, I will be back with another tutorial very, very soon. So. Please subscribe to the channel if you like what you see and uh, leave a comment and I'll see you next time. <music>